Hi, I'm David Hearn, town moderator for Norwood, and on this beautiful June morning, I'm standing outside the gymnasium at Norwood High School, where we will be holding town meeting starting next Monday, June 22nd. We're starting at 6 p.m., earlier than normal, because we've got a few things to do and because we want to allow extra time for everybody uh, to follow the procedures that we need to take to keep everyone as safe as possible during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll start with a couple of comments about arrival at town meeting. Uh, we do ask that everyone who drives to town meeting follow the PBD Road entrance into and around the back of the high school to uh, access the parking lots on the uh, south side of the gymnasium. Uh, those are the parking lots that back up to Victoria Circle and uh, Bonnie Lane. Um, the, uh, there are some handicap spots in front of the gymnasium and those are to be left available for people who need them, but we do ask that otherwise people avoid the driveway that runs by the front of the high school, including the gym. Uh, when you get to the high school, we ask that you put on a mask when you exit your car and approach the building, and we will have three sign-in stations outside of the gymnasium, on the front of the gymnasium, on the Nickel Street side, for people to sign in as town meeting members. Um, districts 1, 2, and 3 will sign in at a station that is by door 5, and districts 4, 5, and 6 will use a station by door number 6. And then district 7, 8, and 9 can use the station at door 7, which is down nearer the parking area. Uh, when you sign in, instead of getting the usual badge that identifies you as a town meeting member, you'll be given a sticker to wear on your shirt or sweater and that identifies you as a voting member of town meeting. We ask that everybody after registering proceed into the uh, gymnasium and we will have ushers who will help people uh, to their seats. The seats have been laid out and we'll see them in a few minutes uh, to allow six feet of separation in all directions. So we want ushers to help people fill in those seats and once you get to the seats, we ask you to stay there because uh, mingling is not a good idea in these uh, times of pandemic. Um, beyond that, uh, we hope that the meeting goes very smoothly. We ask cooperation from everybody and I expect everybody will be very cooperative. Um, there's a bit of business that needs to be done. The budget is the most important thing. Um, so that's why we're asking everyone to do their part uh, for making it a safe meeting. Well, I'm here in the gymnasium. I've just come in door number five, one of the three doors we'll be using for town meeting members. I'm actually standing between door number five and door number six. Um, when you come in, we'll have ushers meet you and uh, bring you to a chair. If you look around the auditorium, uh, you can see we've, uh, the gymnasium, I'm sorry, we've laid out uh, chairs um, separated by at least six feet. We do have an open aisle between the two main sections and this is where the town meeting members will be sitting. We will have tables up front for the selectmen and the FinCom, for the town clerk and the town accountant, and I will be at uh, my usual position at the podium. Um, I want to point out door six uh, is uh, to be remembered for those people who feel that they cannot attend the meeting uh, inside, we will have some limited seating out near door number three, which is the usual entrance uh, to the auditorium area. Uh, but people who are seated in that area who do want to address the body have got to come down to door number six so that I can spot them and call on them. Um, so door number six is the one because it's more visible from the podium than door number five area. Uh, again, we ask that people not wander around as much as it'd be nice to see your friends and neighbors and chat with them. This is not the time for that. Um, when people get to their chairs, we ask that you stay there and not move the chairs. Uh, as far as restrooms go, uh, the restrooms uh, off the auditorium lobby will still be available, but to reach those, you have to go to the doors on the far side of the gymnasium um, at about the midpoint of the gymnasium wall. Uh, please don't use the other doors at the far end of the gymnasium. Those are, will bring you too close to people sitting at tables. Um, when we get going, 
it will be, I hope, and I expect a fairly typical town meeting. It is somewhat pared down. We have a special town meeting with only three articles, and the annual town meeting will have only eight articles. And pretty much everything we're doing is financially related. Now, we've made some changes in how we handle some of the information uh, for town meeting. We're not going to have any handouts. We usually have a table with handouts. Um, we're not going to have that out of uh, health concerns. We also are asking everyone to please remember to bring their, um, their books, their budget books, which hopefully you have by the time you see this. And um, instead of having presentations from the Finance Commission and the School Department at town meeting, uh, both of those groups have recorded presentations and they're being presented by NCM uh, on uh, our local television. Also, the links to those uh, presentations will be found in the town's website at the town meeting section, as well as a link to this program that we're recording now. Um, so I thank NCM for doing that for us. Uh, they've been helpful all the way through the planning of this. I want to reassure folks that we've spent a great deal of time planning for this town meeting. We've examined the possibilities of indoor, outdoor, virtual, and whatever. And the best, uh, the decision was that the best approach w that we could take with the uh, blessing of our health department was to use the gymnasium. Um, so uh, please be aware of those presentations that are available uh, online and on television. Look at them, bring your questions to town meeting, but we need to save time that we're actually meeting and that's one of the ways we're doing it. So I'm up at the, for want of a better term, front of the gymnasium, uh, right by the podium where I will be as moderator. Around me are tables for the selectmen, the FinCom, um, the town clerk, and the town accountant. Um, and I want to mention uh, the use of microphones. If anybody wants to address town meeting, the usual rules apply. You have to be recognized by the moderator. We will have runners who will have microphones on poles. We ask that the town meeting members not touch the microphones. They'll be held for you to speak into, but please don't touch them. Uh, we're going to be very careful about keeping them clean and keeping them uh, away from people as much as possible. Um, I also want to point out that uh, the gymnasium, uh, all the exterior doors for the gymnasium will be left open during the meeting. Um, the doors five, six, and seven that the members will have come in. There are also a couple of other doors to provide ventilation. And up in the gallery of the gymnasium on three sides, we have windows that will be opened up for additional ventilation and the ceiling fans will be working. Uh, so this is actually a very well ventilated gymnasium, uh, much better than the old one that some might remember. And uh, we hope that will contribute to uh, keeping the air nice and fresh for everybody. Um, when we get done with the meeting, uh, we do ask that instead of the usual rush for the exits, uh, that people stay in their seats and we will dismiss uh, the members on a row by row basis. We want to avoid crowding at the exits um, and we want to have a, a more orderly uh, dismissal than we normally have. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the way we normally do it, but in these times, it wouldn't be a good idea. So we ask your patience on that also, to sit tight until your row is called. Um, it might put us all back in grammar school to be told when we can leave our seats, but we have to do it in these times. Um, and I do want to say a word about folks who may be in doubt about whether they should attend the meeting or not. Um, I sent a letter out to the town meeting members, uh, and by the time you see this, you may have received the letter. But we want to stress that anyone who does not feel well, anyone who is sick, anyone who is concerned about a member of their family that they may live with, who could be especially susceptible to the coronavirus, any of those folks really should feel uh, free to stay home. If you're in doubt, talk to your doctor. Uh, read up on it, and make the decision that's best for you. So we want as many as possible here, but we don't want anybody to feel um, that they are putting themselves or family members at great risk, or if they don't feel well themselves, they shouldn't be here putting other people at risk. Uh, 
We hope to see everyone, as many as possible, on June 22nd for town meeting. Um, we expect it will be a successful town meeting, both the special and the annual, and we thank you for your continued service to our town.